Winter sports saw a big boom during the pandemic, and they'll bring a lot of people to St. Paul this weekend for the annual ice fishing and winter sports show. Kicked off today, Gordon Severson shows us how local companies are trying to keep that pandemic momentum. If you haven't been ice fishing in a while, the sport has changed a lot in recent years. These right here are cameras that they use to see the fish coming in. Vendors say this new technology is a big reason why the sport has grown so much in recent years. We're very spoiled nowadays when it comes to ice fishing. Matt Johnson has seen a lot of changes since he started ice fishing as a kid. When I started ice fishing, I was on a bucket. I was using a hand auger. You're like, this is tough. He now works at Clam Outdoors and gets to show off the latest innovations in the industry. So instead of camping, we call it clamping. Clamping in a heated ice house that's bigger than some apartments and augers that don't need a big gas powered engine. So now you can use that nice good drill, drill in your garage and you can use it to cut holes in the ice. Anything they can do to make ice fishing more accessible. That first time crowd that we grabbed onto during the pandemic, we're trying to keep them looking for more. You know, once the pandemic came through, it opened up a whole wide variety of opportunity. We created a whole new freshman class of anglers. Drew Arnold at Reed's Family Outdoor Outfitter says companies are now making more beginner level products that are cheaper and easier to use to keep those first timers going. We made them better this year. To introduce more Minnesotans to a fun winter activity that's not as hardcore as it used to be. It's cold outside. We got snow on the ground. We're thinking winter type stuff. Why not have it be ice fishing? The show is open from now through Sunday here at the River Center in St. Paul, and I'm told if you want to avoid some of the lines, Sunday is actually the slower day because it's the Vikings game, so uh, that's a little tip for you if you want to come here to the show. So, so basically you guys just kind of don't catch anything and just hang out all day here, huh? Exactly. <laughs> Sounds good. Gordon Severson, Carol 11 News. Sounds like a lot of people's <laughs> fishing trips. And an important reminder this winter about safety on the ice. The DNR released some recommendations when it comes to ice thickness and winter activities. You should stay off the ice if it's less than four inches thick. To snowmobile on it, you're going to need five to seven inches. A foot for a car, more than that for a truck. Also, make sure the ice is at least 20 inches thick if you're putting up your ice house. And the DNR doubles down on the fact that ice is never 100% safe.